All right, fellas, how's it going? We are here, man. Just gonna take a step back. We're out here, um, chilling, getting ready for a big event. Yes, last night was a good one. We we seen my, uh, the Chiefs take on a great opponent the Houston Texans but the Super Bowl champs got it done in prime time season opener the Super Bowl champs won the Super Bowl for a reason anyways I'm putting on man my new bracelet so you can see it's Deutsch this is Deutsch I'm committing also to learning German so um, yeah I'll be making videos in, in Deutsch also, for sure. But this video here is about just getting ready for game day on Sunday, the Oakland Raiders. Actually, now they're the Las Vegas Raiders are going to play the Carolina Panthers. And so this is just going to be a pre-game analysis. And as you can see, I brought it out here to the coast the Pacific Coast even though we'll be at the east for this game um, we're, we're, we're from we're from the West Coast man the Raiders a California born team is expanding the nation the Raider Nation now is in Nevada and we'll be in Carolina this weekend too right on Sunday it's gonna be an exciting game to watch um, 10 a.m. Pacific time um, and uh, we'll probably be wearing the away colors, right? The white jerseys, which are fresh too. The Raiders have been voted to have the best uniforms in the, in, in the NFL. It's no surprise, right? The iconic silver and black colors um, that just really haven't changed over the years. The best colors in, in the NFL. Yeah, like, um, it's gonna be week one. There's been a lot of changes that have been happening throughout the whole off season. We've had players coming in and out of of the of the squad, but now we're down to the 53 man roster. Probably the most um, important news in terms of roster um, situation right now is you know we're gonna roll with Derek Carr. You know that was a big question. Uh, moving into the season this year, whether Derek Carr would would, would would start. And throughout the whole off season, there was talk about Tom Brady coming over to the Raiders. Um, Teddy Bridgewater, who will be playing because he actually went to Carolina, uh, whether we were gonna get him. A bunch of these QBs, we ended up getting one that was available and that was Marcus Mariota, number eight. He uh, came over from Tennessee, the Tennessee Titans. And so he's a Raider now, but he's on the IR list, injured reserve. Cause he came, he came over with a bit of an injury situation and he just got uh, some injury again um, during, during training in Las Vegas. And so he's gonna be out for like three weeks is what I'm hearing. Um, so that's okay, like Derek Carr was gonna start anyways and and if all goes well, like Derek Carr will play the whole year. So we're looking forward to just getting started. Number four is our franchise QB. Hopefully for years to come, in my opinion. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, cause he's just about the Raiders and he's, uh, he's, uh, he just needed receivers and we and the Raiders obviously addressed that issue during the draft during this whole offseason and uh, and so Derek Carr's gonna have some receivers now he's got Henry Ruggs the fastest receiver from the draft who's just a Raider he's committed to excellence too man like he, he, he fingers crossed he's gonna have a great season a great year a great career with the Raiders because he's a Raider and uh, hopefully man we can see him score a touchdown on his rookie debut I want to see either him 
or both, right? But either him or Brian Edwards Jr. He's number 89. He he's a rookie receiver also. And uh, even if any of these guys got um, a touchdown in their first game, it would be so beautiful. It would just be awesome. Um, but then we also got like tight ends, man. We got we got Foster Moreau coming back. We got Darren Waller. You know, um, Darren Waller was a top 100 player. Um, he's just a great tight end. He's honestly one of the. He's going to be, hopefully, a well-known tight end in the league. Last year, he had a great year. He was he was Derek Carr's number one uh, target. Um, because, yeah, our number one receiver, Tyrell Williams, didn't play as many games as, 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 as we would have liked, as he would have liked, I'm sure. And he's injured again, so he won't be playing on Sunday. But uh, but uh, we still got other receivers to go with, man. So we got Brian Edwards Jr., um, Henry Ruggs. We got um, um, Hunter Renfro, number 13. He is brilliant. He's going to be a great um, slot receiver for the Raiders for a while, man. Like, he's just great. It's just a great um, situation that this offense is in right now. Plus, we got running. We got a running attack with Josh Jacobs. We got great blockers. We got a great O-line. Trent Williams. We got Richie Incognito. We have Rodney Hudson, one of the team captains. Derek Carr is the team captain. Uh, oh, and on defense, we got Eric Harris. Eric Harris had, had that game-winning um, pick six in Indianapolis, I remember. I watched it live. Number 25, he's not like a, a big school kind of guy. He actually got picked up by the Raiders from like basically um, working a nine to five job. And now he's the team captain going into this year. He had a great year last year and I knew that I'd be hearing from him again in the near future, like today, like for this season. Great player. He's a great player. Plus, we also got to look forward to maybe like Jonathan Abram, who's going to be healthy and playing number 24. Um, he'll play this year. At least he'll start the year and hopefully get more than just one game, you know, in. And then we also brought in like Kwiatkowski from the Bears from Chicago. He's, uh, he's a team captain also on linebacker. The Raiders have been needing linebackers for years now. They brought him in. They also brought in Corey Littleton from the Los Angeles Rams, who's a great tackler. He 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 made so many tackles last year with the Rams, who weren't a playoffs team. So you know they struggled, and the fact that he was their the top tackler and it, um, says a lot, I think, because you know he 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 played he played till the end. So we need players like that but we also need them to just right from the start be dominating the line of scrimmage be dominating the on from speaking from defense dominating the the uh the uh the running game of the opponents and then just um rushing the quarterback putting pressure on 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 their signal caller to you know make mistakes we want the defense to be playing physical so that the offense will make bad decisions bad throws bad things that way the Raiders can have good things like interceptions and sacks and forced fumbles turnovers you know playing hard physical Raiders football so we're happy man we're excited that the season's starting for us now um, it's been a long off season it's been a long um, you know, few years for the Raiders going through what we've been going through with the with the with the team move to Las Vegas. But now it's official. We're ready to start the the city of Las Vegas, Nevada, the Raider Nation, all over the world is excited about this move. I think it's obvious now that it was the right move to to do. Um, just post up in Las Vegas. Looking forward to it. Um, my prediction, if I have to 
uh, if I, I mean, I guess I want to make a prediction, is we're going to win. We're going to win on Sunday. We're playing the Carolina Panthers. Not saying it's going to be easy, but I think that the Raiders on offense really have the weapons to to, to score points. It's about scoring, scoring, scoring. Moving the chains, putting it in the end zone. Um, Derek Carr's got, got a team, an offense, that if they play their cards right, if we play our cards right, um, Derek Carr could end up being a season a, a candidate for MVP this year. I believe. I believe in that. I believe in it 100%. Because I've seen Derek Carr have, have a good year. I've seen what Derek Carr is like when he plays well. When he has receivers, he could just make plays with. <sighs> Plus, again, the O-line is just... It's just amazing, you know. We're actually we're actually in the position to to put up put up some numbers, man. So I see the Raiders going into the playoffs this year for sure, 100%. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit like, and 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 we're gonna keep this the the, the wheel spinning for the Raider Nation. And uh, and you know. Being out here in the beautiful um, Pacific uh, is just a blessing. It's just, it's just great. And uh, uh, so my final prediction is going to be that we win by ten points. Let's say we win by ten points this game. Uh, yeah, like it could be, it could be, you know, twenty-eight to eighteen. How about that? 20, 28 points is what we'll score. Points, man. It'll be a two-possession game. We'll make it look favorable. And we'll come back to Las Vegas to open the season at home with a win already. And a little bit of confidence for week two. Thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned. I'll definitely put up a post-match, a post-game analysis to this game. Um talk about like just the stats we got and how the game went and uh stay tuned stay tuned and welcome yes sir go raiders baby oh yeah just win baby raiders raiders It's a foggy morning for sure, but uh, oh, blitz, <laughs> but yeah, we're out here, it's uh, the sun will be out soon enough, man, just a typical, um, that, that bird's a raider, so is that one. Let's go, man. It's going to be a good year. It's a new year.